in Franklin's house, having decided to take a long rest there before doing whatever it is you plan to do to the Van Thampers. The bottom floor of this house still reeks of rancid meat, sort of like a butchery in the shitty part of town. Love it. You mm. have mm. previously you talked to uh, Mr. Yasso and got some information on the Van Thampers oh, and their villa. And as you sleep calmly through the night, nothing happens. And you guys have all had a successful long rest. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that makes me so hard. What happened, to the la- what happened last time? Uh, what happened last basically, week? we got some Nothing. information about how to sneak into the Van Thamper house uh, because they've kidnapped Disperia. Okay, cool. Sounds good. I uh, <laughs> walk in. Who was Disperia again? And uh, she's that hot tiefling, babe. I, yeah, Mercius's Mercius's booty call. Oh, oh yeah, hey, yeah, guys. Yeah. Hey, hey, guys, booty what, call. Did I, what did I miss? I, uh... Nothing, you were right next to us. You're dodging a bunch. Oh, shit. All right. All right. Well, we, we went back to that, that, that elf homie. Yeah, we went back. I was going to be like, uh, I was gonna be like, oh, guys, I went to get my breastplate, and they were doing free engravings, and I just lost track of time. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, we, we went to see Yasa, and he we made a pretty formal alliance with him. Well, I guess informal, because he's the duke, so he said he couldn't send any of his minions with us because... He can't look like he's involved, but basically we made an alliance with him because uh, the Van Thampers kidnapped Asperia because we kidnapped uh, Amrick. Nobody knows that we killed Amrick, uh, so we have his finger, and so the plan, tentative plan right now is to sneak in to the Van Thamper home through the sewers where we will probably run into some of the Van Thamper guards and have to fight them, but uh, we can either try to just take them all out right now, or you, or try to pretend like we have Amric hidden somewhere, uh, and we're basically just trying to rescue Disparia. And if we can take out the Van Thampers, it sounds like. And also, the They're sewers guard off. God, the, God, was, I meant to ask for the God damn! I man. also have Amric's yeah. daggers. Um, yeah. We don't want to use a finger, but, but I think let's go in there and fucking wreck shit. shit. If we get that works for me. Capture or get into a situation where like. We've got to say, you know, just, she's like got a knife for Disparia's throat or whatever. We can, we can try to pull the answer yeah. apart. What did you say, Elrond? So, yeah, yeah, so I hooked us up with some acid just to burn through some bars down in the sewer. Yes. But not that yes. big of a deal. Yeah. So, uh, the entire time they're talking about this, I want to, like, gaze off into the distance with hardcore PTSD flashbacks of being in a sewer. Because you're a fucking Ninja Turtle? Yes. I would like... No. To- that's not no last session. I'm a ninja turtle. No, that's Franklin, idiot. <laughs> Happy birthday! That was the last yeah. session where we went into the fucking I, sewer. I, well, Our last game, not last session. Um, we so uh well, we died in the sewer. Oh, well, oh yeah, it was terrible. While we're talking about the sewers, I start rubbing my wrists, remembering that I was chained and almost sacrificed to their unholy gods. Guys, it's not the it's in not the, the name end of the season. Of we don't need to do a flashback. Yeah, episode. let's go. Yeah, we're we're still yeah, we're still in like the, the sewers. Yeah, we're head to the sewers. Sewer. In the morning. I, it is the morning. We already took a long rest, right? Okay, are we doing anything first? We already woke up. I don't think so. Does anybody need to buy? I don't think so. Does anyone need anything? No, I, I have healing potions. Visit? I have fucking. I have a healing potion as well. I have. Is that the one you fucking stole from me? Um, no, it was the one that I got, I and then I gave one potions. to Magic. Hey! You... No, 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 I had two. I had two already. Did you give me one while I was fucking down, or what? I, I don't know. I, it it doesn't matter. Let's Where just go, yeah. let's go to the... We're going to the... We're going to the... I, I have a John Wick-style oh. montage okay. where I break open the floor and uh, pull out a case, and it's empty because oh. all my weapons are on me. Uh, let's go! <laughs> oh, that was funny. Fuck you. That's yeah, better than a dumb story about PTSD and sewers. Let's get, Let's get out, out of here. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> Let's go fuck shit up, bitches. Start Gosh. walking through the morning mists of Baldur's Gate. 
down Heapside into the steeps and through Baldur's Gate itself into the upper city, paying the toll. Cover the, the crew. Over. Sorry, what was that? And just a couple silver. I'll I'll cover the crew. It's yeah. it's what five five silver. Two silver for the whole for basically the whole party. Two. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So we know where the access to the sewer is, right? Well, you have a couple of options. How close to the villa do you want to get before going down into the sewers? Close. What do you guys think? Uh, I think we should get some separation just a little bit. I wouldn't go right down in the sewer right on top of it. Does any, should we see if there's uh, a fiend there, following us? We killed there, him. There's a, there, there's a fiend following yeah, us. There's always okay. going to be a fiend following us. Then yeah, I say we but get some distance. Clearly okay. Us. Underdark, can I make a history check? Uh, go up. Go up. Yeah. Can I make a history check to see if there's any buildings in the city that would have public access but access to the sewers? That we won't need to pop a drain drain cover. Yeah, go ahead and make a history check. Can I, I um this is... You're roboting. Okay, too late. We can't hear you, Bob. Oh no. You can't you assist can on a history now? check, no. You can make your own history check, but you can't think for me. That's fair. Um, maybe maybe he's doing like uh, serious Bob, Bob, just, Bob, just mute, mute yourself, Bob. We can't understand you. Disconnect Your audio is messed up. Yeah, disconnect and reconnect. I, got, I gave him that bar that you gave me. Okay. Ooh. Was it solid gold? <laughs> no, it was probably... Uh, was that oh. No, it's... Uh, so, uh, what's, what's did we for? figure out the history check? Well, yes. He's waiting for everybody to stop talking. You guys, you don't need to chime in every five seconds. <laughs> All right, so the history check tells you public places that would have sewer access nearby, there's really two options. One is right across the street from them. It's the called the Hellman Cloak, which is a rooming house. Uh, tends to attract um, unpretentious uh, patriarchs, traveling nobles, famed bards, socially ambitious uh, lower city residents. Uh, but its basement kind of has easy access to it. The other is a bit further away um, and is known as Ladies Hall, which is a temple to Timora. Who's Timora? Uh, God of Luck. That's a casino. Oh, that sounds... Goddess of Luck. I, I, I think that one sounds better. Uh, okay. We'll blend, in. We'll blend uh, in better there. Yeah, I agree. I was, I was gonna say the only way we get into that one is like maybe pretend Dylan's a Elrond's a famous bard, but yeah, I think I you think guys, the far away one's better. Well, you, you guys haven't realized, but my character actually looks like Patriarch. She is a wealthy individual. Oh, that's well, why we've been able to wander around the upper city without much interference because it just looks like you guys are my entourage. Okay, that was gonna be my question: is if we could actually pass as a real entourage, or if the rest of us look so shitty. That it would be no, uh, the, the the clothes of servants and stuff like that was never really you know you didn't dress your servants up so okay. unless you're really really wealthy but then your servants have servants so. yeah also the fact anyway. that all of your servants are are you are armed it just looks like you're coming out of lower city with your escort yeah okay well what do you think then are you, do you want to do the closer like one like or the farther one the I think the farther one one it's not right in front of um the establishment yes. we're trying to get into. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, lucky. Mercs, you're hot. Sounds good to me. Oh, thanks. But, um... <laughs> Let's get out of here. So, Mercs, you're uh, hot, Mikey. Uh, oh, I thought you were saying my character was hot. But that, I'm bummed out. Oh, no. You, you're picking up background noise. Oh. Uh, my character's asexual. Hey, let's go to the place that's far <laughs> <the> away. <laughs> Thank I you. think you could be any shittier of a character. Yes, you're going to tell me you're a fucking Democrat. Let's get out of here. Um, <laughs> you hear me? My high biking is on all right. Background noise. Huh? Echo. You're Somebody's picking you up. Is that Steve? Yeah, that's the same room, oh. probably. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I've got his... Yeah, I'll turn it down. Sensitivity turned down. Oh, my sensitivity turned down. I don't know about his. I'm trying to. Yeah. 
Yeah, just mess with your gain a little bit, Steve. Uh, you're you're picking him up in the room, it sounds like, but he's not picking you up. So all good guys, go. though. <sighs> all right, let's go to that place, the Lucky Temple. All right, yeah. So you start going down to Ladies Hall, which is a do 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 do. do. It is a squat building made of the local yellowed granite, roofed with slate shingles, and kind of inconspicuously blends into the surrounding architecture. It doesn't It's not real ostentatious or anything. Um, however, you can see that on the outside of it um, are these beautiful mosaics depicting souls prevailing against ill fortune at sea. It... So is it, someone said this place is a casino? No, it's right. a temple of, to the god of luck. Okay, that's what I thought, but then I thought someone said it was a, like a oh, casino. They implied that it was a casino, yes. Oh. Okay. It, well, well, yeah. it may or may not be correct. But yeah, it, it was just sounds... a joke. It was just a joke. Ignore oh, it. sorry. Okay. Then yeah, I think we head inside. All right, you walk inside and you, know, you kind of see that the year is a uh, couple uh, clergymen, a uh, depiction of Timora against the back wall, Are you paying a for your collection money? box right at the front. I drop a couple gold in. Okay. You know, the clink, the clink of your coin seems to echo through the halls. Uh, is it, is that like, so we can just walk in all good now? I dropped one in for each of us. Okay. I mean, dad, there's, there's no one stopping you. There's, you there's no need the to get in. You just walk in. Almost. Yeah, I think we hit in. So, uh, Steven, you were the one that made the history check, right? No, that was, that was me. Oh, sorry. Um, do you know, so do you know where the entrance is in this place? Um, probably not. I would. I was just knowing the building probably has sewer access. Like my character wouldn't know that specifically. Uh, she's not actually a, a patriarch noble from the city. She moved here. Gotcha. So, um, can I make a like a pers an investigation check or something to see if I can figure out where the entrance would be? Sure. Looking for some stairs. Yeah. Go ahead and make an investigation check. Mm. Ooh, got a plus zero. Uh, I walk right wow. into a toilet. I walk right into a toilet. Uh, not, not they're not toilets. It's more like reflection ponds. <laughs> nice. Guys, it's, guys, it's right. It's right here, and I like go to dive in, but uh, I just, I just belly All flop right. on the ground. <laughs> I will take a look around. <laughs> yeah, I'll help yeah. him out. Well, as you guys start looking around after his outburst, a. Uh, a tabaxi cloaked in the, um, what would you call it, uh, vestments of Timora walks over and greets you, saying, uh, oh, welcome to the ladies' hall. How can I help you? I know out of character. character. I know that it's a holy place, but man, you set that up like a strip club. <laughs> Not all religions are religions. <laughs> Just yeah. um, For those who don't know, a tabaxi is a cat person. Fuck yeah, it is. Oh, I'm getting the movie That's Cats in my head so now. Do we know anything about uh, Ty Timora? I don't know. Do you? Well, they I should... don't know if you'd already discovered something with your clairvoyance trip, or if I needed to roll for. It. History check. Go for it. Or religion. This would be a religion check. Religion check. I don't think I'm good. At it. I sh I'm very good at it. Do you want me to do it? Uh, Go for it. Can I oh. assist with the religion? No, uh, just no. That, Bob, your mic is messed up again. Yeah, you can't assist for everything either. God. Yeah, the the biggest ones you're going to assist with are investigations. Um, and I mean, oh. well, thanks for the help with that check, then. All right. So. Oh no! Just, I figured you had you, it. You know, you know, she's the goddess of luck. That's about it. Okay, Stephen, you know that generally speaking, like people would seek Timora's blessing, 
before going on like a particularly dangerous trek or mission. Um, and that, you know, the favor of Timora tends to inspire good luck. Her disfavor tends to inspire bad luck. She's a goddess of luck, not necessarily one way or the other. Ooh. Uh, I'd like to that. I'd like to donate 10 more gold and make a prayer to have good luck on this upcoming trip. I think I would have to do that. Well, basically. Hmm. I mean, you can. Yeah. Yeah. I would like I would like to do that. Yep, the priest kind of nods sense as well. Thank you for your donations. They're certainly going to go to a good use. But I have the feeling you did not come here today simply to donate gold. Is the donation well... area a uh, like one of those fountains in front of a hotel people throw pennies into? No, it's a box. I... You, walk, oh, I had you a... walk through the front doors and in front of you is this box and there's a little slit in the top and you can put coins in. Are you sure it's not like those things at the mall where you put a coin in and it like spins around in circles? It does not spin around uh, in circles. Okay. Um, Perhaps you put more what, in. What the fuck are we here to do? <laughs> we're, we're here to access the sewers, yeah? That's, uh, yes. that's able to be uh, through here? Yeah, hey, you don't want to get her blessing, though, yeah, dude? Come we on. Wanna, just, we want to get down to the sewer. Confirming. Okay, and we just okay, didn't okay. want to go through a manhole cover, that's all. Uh, awesome. Well... Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, then. I, what, can I? Can I? Can I turn to the? Oh. Go on. Can I? Can I turn to the priest and say, I, 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 I appreciate the the good use of the funds. Would maybe part of those funds go to some, to some information about where we might find an entrance to the sewer? <laughs> well, that all depends. Why are you seeking to enter the sewer of all places? We lost a friend down there. I uh, heard there is a pretty strong monster, and I just want to punch it. That's awesome. Everybody Franklin. doesn't need to answer. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> so what's your, what's your guys' answer? I'm going to say we're just looking for an easier way to get down there. We lost a friend, and we want to recover his body. We uh, left in a hurry. so. I see. Uh, why don't you go ahead and make a... Uh... Well, you can make pers persuasion or deception. It's up to you, really, which it is. Because I, I could see that going either way. Thank you. The half truth. <laughs> it's a half truth. So go ahead and you know just tell me which one it is. Is the uh, the halfling looking convincingly sad? Do I get advantage? <laughs> that's part of that's part of the check. If you're going for that. Yeah. <laughs> What, was that deception or persuasion? I don't think it matters. I think that's a good score. It does it matter. Which, which is it? That's persuasion. Okay. And he nods and he says, yes, it can be quite tragic and quite dangerous down there. If you are sure you want to go down there, I certainly won't stand in your way. There is uh, an access down there and down into the uh, undercroft of the building. Can't miss it or the smell. That's I, I point at the party and I say, yeah, yeah, that's why I brought back up this time. Out of character, we should totally tip this man for his secrecy. I just gave him 17 gold. Uh, we, we no, stop, guys. Yes, Bob, been. stop talking. <laughs> Your bike is fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I give a, a, a short, curt bow and say thank you so much for your understanding. Uh, blessings <laughs> with you. And, uh, Hello? You need to stop throwing gold Wait, everywhere, guys. Gold, <laughs> All right, we have plenty of gold. Just yeah. hold on. But the but it, it, it might be useful down the road having plenty of gold. If you spend it all now... He's, he's just going to try to pickpocket you. Don't listen to him. Give all your gold away. Yeah. You guys know how much gold I have on my person right now? Okay. Okay. We I had, don't care! I think we had to the right. manhole. I think we had to the access. Move on! It's a weird thing to argue about in church. All right. Let's go. Yeah, all right. Yeah. As you turn to go, uh, you hear the priest behind you mutter a prayer as he uh, bids you go with the blessing of Timora. Uh, I'm very religious, and I did I hear it? Yes. Uh, can I decipher what he said? No. Basically, oh, you cannot. No, you as, it, as you know, you kind of feel 
almost like a magical presence as he completes that prayer. Oh. Am I taller? To the sewer. So as you guys go, you know, this effect as you go down the stairs, you can tell was not like just a temporary thing. You can kind of feel it lingering um, and kind of bolstering you as you go down. Oh, it's a good one. Yes. And let's see. Is let's see how. RPG equivalent where you get a blessing from a to church in Boulder's. Oh, oh nice. nice! Nice! Yes! <laughs> all right. We all get erections. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. That's that's a different uh, temple. Nice. Let's go to that one. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be good shit in there. Temple of Sorrow. All right. But <laughs> yes, you have all been granted the blessing of Timora. Nice. Which will allow you to is a one-time use thing. Which you can expend as an action. And the result of using that action. We each get the power word kill spell. <laughs> That'd be super cool. <laughs> we all get one wish. This is this is basically what you guys get. This is a one time use thing. Once you use it, it's gone. Is this like within 24 hours or whenever we choose to use it? Whenever you choose to use it. Okay. Oh, fuck yeah. This feels like one of those things God where like, dang. It's, like it, it's like before you go into a boss battle and there's like a bunch of items that the game gives you because it knows you're going to get fucked up. I think that's yeah, exactly what I understand. On, on, uh, dynamic <laughs> Put it in our back <laughs> pocket for now, boys. <laughs> yeah. Go. All right. To the sewer. The, the sewer. To, uh, to voice while we're walking and, and whisper. Are all sewers dangerous in, in this world? Like, how do people just know that? Yeah, yeah your friend died. That's cool. Timmy, I'm not the one that said that. Make that a history check. Whoever said that. Yeah, yeah well, I was just kind of metagaming. But yeah, sure. Yeah, um, no, it's a totally reasonable thing to think as you're going into this dangerous sewer. Why are all of these urban sewers so fucking dangerous? <laughs> Yeah, and the priest is just like, yeah, yeah, you, a, a guy died down there. That's a I have a pretty good... Uh, it doesn't matter. I had the thought. I can also my, have this. My guess is you that the uh, van Sorry, God. something to do with it. The, yeah, I think he, he, he knows better. Oh. God dang it. Man. Well, Merzius, what you know of sewers is they're dark, dingy, and full of shit. Which is why it's a, it's a favorite hangout of evildoers. So the and ninja they're ninja. probably what makes it dangerous. And the Ninja Turtle. That's, That's fair. I mean, I mean it also links everything. I mean, there's realistic reasons. But uh, yeah. I just think it's funny that he's just like, yeah, yeah, it's sewer. It's where death happens. Anyway, there's a hatch over there. Um. So does does one of us, under would one of, maybe Ira, or does one of us kind of have a good idea of how to get around the sewer system? Or does is there like a map we could find somewhere maybe? I don't know. I'm, I just don't want to get lost, I guess. Well, I have a decent memory of the map of the city. The sewers are probably going to follow the streets. Okay. Yeah. We're already here. Let's do it. Cool. So we have a rough we have idea where we're going. Idea of the direction of the uh, Van Thamper property from here? Oh, I assume you do, Ira. Yeah. That's... It's, it's, yeah, it's to the north. Yeah. Cool. I know which way. To the north. <laughs> so we'll find our way. Yep. And, and uh, yeah, you guys. Just... I will be waxing under dark, just so you know. You'll be waxing. That's uh, right. yeah, using a using a candle to uh, mark the sewers. Ah, so okay. Get backwards. Why was that something you thought we would just know? Nobody light anything <laughs> on fire down here, please. Well, I wasn't what? sure if he was just pulling out a surfboard, and w this was about to get very strange. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was going to be like. That's what we or call or it. We go like cave feet. diving, okay? Because you just you just have a wax pen that you write on the wall with, and everybody calls it waxing. Sorry, that's fine. That's fine. You're all right. <laughs> Once you explain candle on the wall, uh, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> just don't light, don't light it. it. Who's who's in the lead? Are we following? No, you, I'm, I'm basically using the candle as a giant crayon. Yep. So the sewers, as you descend into them and kind of go, th there's like a little uh, plaque on the wall with a door. It says, you know, sewer access, keep closed. But the door is not locked, and you're able to open it. Okay, we couldn't even find that. It's it's in the basement. Oh, 
Yeah, dingus. You know, down the stairs, the priest pointed out to you. Gotcha. And, you know, as you kind of step into this basement, your noses are assaulted with the smell of shit. And the way these sewers are built is it is a 10-foot wide brick tunnel with an arching ceiling. Two three-foot wide pathways on either side are slightly elevated. The middle of this, which is the remaining uh, four feet, uh, is kind of like set down and below, and you can see that the sides are sl- sloped towards the middle. A stream of, well, let's just say uh, stuff you wouldn't want to wade through. Kind sewage? Of sl- yes, sewage. Thank you. I could not think of that word. Um, just kind of flowing there. Occasionally, you see little brick passage, like um, not pa- arches going over the uh, sewage stream to allow you to cross from side to side. It appears to occur every, you know, 50 feet or so. How hard is it to jump over four feet? It's not very hard at all. Oh, okay. Some of you might not be able to do it, though, because it'll depend on your strength scores. Ah. Oh, shit. However, if unless you want to be wading through the muck um you will have to be going single file so what is your marching order down here whoa, whoa. I, I were in the front I'm assuming front. I'll, t- I'll be yep. right behind I got third I'll, I'll run third do you want to bring up the rear Vagic yes he does Say so me up front scouting, tank in the tank behind me, and then tank taking up the rear so that nothing comes behind. Yes, us and I'll picking up the rear. Franklin, can I write? Can I write on, can I write on your back, Franklin? All right. Well, someone just yeah. write it down. Come on. Okay, got it. Come on, Royce. You can hop on me. I don't care. Thank you. If I fall in that sewage, it like goes all the way up to my chest, so that would be very disappointing. I think that's everybody, right? So nice that we all have different letters for our first name. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is sounds good to me. Immersive, immersive, immersive. The ANF reserve. Sulfurious. Right. <laughs> it's the only one I can come up with on, on no. a fly. <laughs> <laughs> we are farmers. <laughs> All right, marching order. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, even better. You got the A. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I did realize this is Surf Fam. Or Serve a Motherfucker. There you go. Anyway. Yeah. So, how uh, far ahead are you scouting, Ira? Uh, 10 feet and pass over 16, remember? So. No clear gelatin. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, fuck that. Ah, this character is finally coming to her real fruition. It's just because of the clear gelatin. But anyway. Um, yep. And then Royce is riding Franklin's shoulders, so that's it. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so just make a, make a pace. And is there any bridges or cross points for when we make turns? Yes. Okay. So just making our way. Um, every time we turn, okay. I'll mark uh, um, the way it, we came from on the wall. It is really dark down here. Do you all have dark vision? Or how are you seeing? I can see fine. Yeah. I think only one of us doesn't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I think, I'm the, I think I'm the only one that doesn't, but I'm riding on a turtle, so. I no, don't. Franklin, no. Franklin does not either. Ah, uh, that's why we're in the middle. Okay. Uh, then so you're just kind I will following blindly behind them. Or, you're, or do you have a light? Uh, give them no, no. Give them ten feet of rope. Put the uh, tie the rope to. Uh, Jesus, will you guys stop posting the fucking? Uh, <laughs> tie the rope to Elrond's belt, and then tie the rope to, uh, or have Steve hold the rope. That way. Uh, there's somebody in front of him and somebody behind him. Do you want it to be dark? Is that why? Or should we... Cast? Yes. Okay. Yes, we want to be stealthy. Yeah. Gotcha. Try, try to be sneaky here. So if you're carrying a f- torch and it casts 90 feet of light... <laughs> like, we're not... We're not... not, not, not we're going... No, not going stealth rolls sneaky, but... 
we're going quiet and not intrusive. But okay. anyway, uh, when we make a turn, I will mark the way we came from and the way we go. Absolutely. Okay. So you start navigating your way through the sewers. Ira, you're leading and navigating, yes? Yes. So why don't you make a survival check for navigation? Okay. Nice. All right. Yeah, I'm just got you just keep doing it. Uh, you know, taking the obvious paths north. Another survival check, please. Less nice. Okay. Yeah, you get a little turned around, but it's not that big a deal. You find yourself getting towards the right track. Another survival check. I mean, that's literally what the. Um... In any way. Mark. That's what the wax marks are for. <laughs> so if I get turned around, I was like, oh yeah, we've been here. Yeah. Yeah, you, you know, you kind of lost your way there, so I'll make another survival check. Okay. Yeah, Even nicer. In there. As you are moving along, Ira, you do notice, uh, you know, as, as you get closer to it, that uh, the sewage it flows weird through this section. Like, like it's flowing and it's kind of full like normal. Then it hits a point, and then beyond it, it's just this trickle. Yeah, I got it. Uh, is it unusual? Like, does it not make sense that it should be doing that? Well, normally for something like that to happen, there would have to be something blocking the way, but all you see is shit and sewage. Okay, I'm going to do an investigation check. Take a closer look. All right, yeah, you get closer, make an investigation check. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, as you get closer, you kind of see that lump of sewage move as the sewage flows a bit. And you realize that that is living sewage, and you should roll initiative. Uh, Hell yeah, yeah, Batman! But, uh, cool, cool, cool. At least I have a cannon on my shoulder. Literally. It's been that long, huh, Vagic? Yeah! I was so surprised that there was shit moving around. <laughs> Dylan, that is two two games in a row where you've got oh, a nat 20 no. on initiative. <laughs> We're fighting some... Uh, oh. What? Killed us. Oh, did it? Yeah, there's... Nah. We're, we're better now. Uh, does anyone not have dark vision, by the way? Frank Me and Franklin and, uh, Royce do not. Oh, shit. Yeah. Do you have a ball bearing? It is. No torch. Yes. Very much I mean, do. Our, our cleric can cast light when it starts, I'm sure. So can Dylan. He's got a nat 20. Dope. <laughs> yeah. How close am I to Franklin? All right. Well, Elrond, what do you do? Oh, Franklin's right behind me? Perfect. Um... Can I touch Franklin and cast light on his shell? Yes, you can. Yeah! And The that tunnel shell. lights up. Is that I an action? Not, yes. I would not do it on his shell for future reference. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't turn that shit off. <laughs> well, oh, wait, no, can you will that off? Yeah. Can I? I don't you know. You dismiss it as an action. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, you can. Yes, yeah, you can. You can. Okay. But now we have a glowing turtle, anyway. Yes, the, the turtle shell lights up, casting light in all directions. He looks like Ugwe. Anything else, Elrond? Uh, um, um, when did I... How far away did I see that? Uh, it is... Let's see. You, 10, 5... 20 feet behind you. Behind us? Behind you. You're in the lead. Oh, then it would be in front of me, wouldn't it? Oh, how far is it the from fuck me? What are you talking about? You're in the lead. No. You're in front. It's behind you. No, not the light, the, the bad guy. The bad guy's right next to you, five feet away. And we're walked up to this pile of shit. Minutes. That isn't really a pile of shit. Oh, okay. So, Elrond, uh, anything else on your turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, not on my turn. Okay. All right, Steven. Ah, uh, it's a pile of shit, so I'm not sure. I'm just going to rip a bolt at it, a light crossbow bolt at it. Okay. Take aim and you fire. Roll to hit. 
Yeah, baby. There we go. That hits. I wow. love being behind Steve. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Hey, hey, hey this is for damage. Steve, you suck. You still you don't have it. You don't have a modifier on it? Plus or minus anything? Which, are, are you, you proficient? proficient? Dex mod. Are you proficient oh. with light crossbows? He's proficient, proficient, but he doesn't have it. I don't have any. It, it's it's a dex mod. Anything. I don't have it. Oh, okay. So it is just the one. Got it. Yeah. All right, yeah, your bolt hits it, and you guys hear the sizzling sound coming from that, from where it hit. Is it bloodied? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not bloodied, it's dead. All right, Any, anything else, uh, Steven? No, that would be it for me, sir. All right, Franklin, your shell is lit up. Um... The pile of shit in next to uh, uh, Ira is uh, moving. Yeah, I'm going to just enter Angry Turtle don't, mode. Don't call me that, Underdark. That's rude. And uh, ready in action to attack in case he enters my space. Okay. Sure. You, you'll lose that rage if they don't, just so you know, Franklin. It might be worth it. Just go ahead and hop to the other side and attack. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth spending a raid. How wide is the channel? Four it is feet. four feet wide. Oh, okay. You can trip and fall the I, I, yeah, I'd have to hit it and then move to, and uh, take a action or well, attack of opportunity. You can tank it. Let's say we're on two sides of a river. You just go to the other side of the river. Yeah. Just, just cross the shit stream, and then you'll there's there's more space on the other side of it. It's not up against a wall. Yeah, yeah. Well, then I'll just go ahead and hit it then under. Okay, so you just moving forward through friendly spaces. Yeah, and then go to the so other side. To the other side. Yeah, go to the other side and then move. <laughs> or yeah, I'll jump to the other or walk to the other side. Jump and then there's, hit it. There's no ramp here or no bridge here, so yeah, you can jump over it. What's your strength score, by the way? Uh, the big number or the little number? The uh, total number. So it's like what, fourteen to sixteen? I have plus three. Oh, I okay. can't. Yes. I can't. So it's like I a sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can easily I'm hop over the four feet. As you do so, a pseudopod whips out of the shit that you're jumping over and strikes you as an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. From the hidden shit monster you didn't know was there. Does a 19 hit you? Yeah. Wow. What kind of shits are these people taking at Baldur's <laughs> <sighs> Ah, shit. My bad. Did they get a chipotle game? So it whacks you for 25 Bludgeoning oh, and acid damage. Holy shit. So. Wait. Ow. Shit. He, he, he resists bludgeoning. So you resist bludgeoning. Okay. So you take uh, minus three from that. So you take uh, 22 points of damage. Oh my word. Uh, Are you wearing dang. armor, Franklin? No. Okay, excellent. Just your clothes? Yeah. Yeah, you can feel the acid starting to dissolve your clothes. You can see there's now like sections of them that are just like dissolving away. Okay. Did you do this because we just bought armor? Nope. Yeah, these were always here. <laughs> All right, but you hop over to the other side. Uh, do you want to continue moving or are you going to fight this guy? I'm just going to fight. I'm just going to try to whack the one that hit me then. Okay. We'll roll to hit. That is a critical Atta hit. a boy. Woo-wee. Don't forget your bonus rage damage or whatever. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, Never make the turtle angry. <laughs> boy, that's a lot of damage right back. Is it two D12s? Yeah. Yep, double the dice. Uh, 
Oh, come on. Can you imagine a max damage right now? Oh. What is that? 2D? Is that 2D12 plus 7? Oh, five. Or 5. Did something wrong? Hold on. 12, oh, baby. Wow. Nearly. Nearly max oh. rolls. That's pretty fucking good. Alright, so you swing. What weapon are you using? Uh, great. Great axe. Alright. Oh, no. Threes. You bring your axe down right into the middle of this thing. You can hear the sizzle. You can see some smoke coming off your weapon. As you split the ooze in two. And there are now two slightly smaller oozes in front of you. Are you? I get it. It's a slime. Also, oh, your I weapon get. now has a minus one damage mod. Okay. Good thing we don't have any real spellcasters. And that's all I can do. All right. Oh, that's fuck. all you do. Is it, is it because his weapon's starting to uh, to erode or to, to melt? Yes, it looks like the acid that these oozes are made out of is damaging his weapon. Fucking poop rust monsters, man. Fuck me. Um, I will... First thing I do is uh, gonna cast Shield of Faith on myself. Okay. Pull out my... Why not? Pull out I hold my uh, my pendant to my chest, whisper a little uh, uh, prayer to uh, the, tri the, the trifle god, and fucking, uh, yeah, do that shit. And, hmm. I'm, uh, am I, I'm right beside one of these things? No, or you are not. They're a little bit behind me. Uh, it's a little bit behind you, past <laughs> Elrond. Or in front of you, there's like f 10 feet in an Ira, and Ira's fighting a big one. Two smaller ones in the shit stream behind you. I, um... So it's basically... Okay, so more or less, like, we're kind of aggro to that first one. Her, her, her and I are the closest, and then the, the rest of the party's closer to that other duty duty monster? Yeah. Yeah, the, the other monster right. was right next to Franklin. All right, um... Um, so I'm, it's, I'm not in uh, direct combat with this one, so if I hop to the other side of this uh, sluice, I can uh, feasibly, if there's not a third sneaky one, I can do it without getting attacked. Uh, you, would, you, are not, you would not get attacked by any of the monsters you see, no. It feels gross when you say that. Um, I'm going to do that so we can try to gank on this. All right, you hop over it. Nothing reaches out of the stream to attack you. It's in the walls. Um, all right, I go to the to the one that's still big and uh, give it a whack with my war hammer. All right, a roll to hit. I almost just <laughs> typed the word war hammer. Oh um, no! Isn't that just gonna dissolve actually, his weapon? I lie. Instead, I, I'm actually gonna uh, attack it with my jab instead. <laughs> okay. Seeing that uh, that S start to corrode the other guy. Okie dokie. Uh, same shit. That hits. All right. Yeah, you hear and see sizzling as your javelin plunges into it and then starts to slowly sink deeper and deeper in as it just dissolves away the javelin slowly. Is it stuck, or is this just having the same effect for flavor? Same effect, but for flavor. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I was like, fuck! <laughs> if you don't know damage, just eat your weapon. All right, cool. Um, that's it. I, uh, I, I, you know, I go ahead and call out in case nobody saw it. Uh, don't let them hit. Don't let them hit you. And if you hit them, oh, uh, no, don't get attached that. to the weapon. All right. Name my turn. All right, Royce. Uh, so I see three total slimes, right? Two small ones, one regular one? Yep. As you're dodging uh, the acid spray on the back of Franklin. Okay. I Can I make... Th can, from Franklin, can I do three radiant symbol attacks? Absolutely. 
All right, I will take three Radiant Sunbolt attacks, and I'll just go one at each. Roll to hit. You guys got a slime, Whoa. we got a Blastoids. Bang! All right, that first one's a crit on the big one. The other two hit as well. So go ahead and give me those damage rolls separately, though. Hey. Okay. Okay. All right. So you blast into them. Little bits of acid. You kind of see just kind of drip off into the water. Anything else? Um. That's it. Okay. Ira. You're next to the big one. Ah, bonus action, disengage. Can I move farther ahead of yes. uh, the party? The tunnel, <clears> ahead, <throat> the tunnel you know, about 50 feet ahead, the tunnel starts to bank to the right, but uh, you have like 50 feet of straight movement you can do. Okay, Um. then I will do, let's go 30, Um. then longbow. All right, you move 30 feet. Wang. Hit. Yay. And Merxius is flanking the big one, right? He is. Sneak attack. Sneak attack indeed. As your arrow sizzles away as it plows into it. To dealing more damage. Does the, does the shit look surprised? The Alrighty shit is not then. surprised at all. That's it for me. It looks shocked. All right. Uh, these guys. Well, big guy. Well, it's going to sidle up right next to Merzius. Hmm. It would say hi, but it actually can't speak, and it's just going to whack you with a pseudopod. Does it, uh, does it say... I don't think it speaks. Well, it kind of no, comes up and goes, hi edie ho and then smacks you. No, oh, it barely hits. 22 barely hits, all right. Yeah, I'm at 21 right now until my uh, shield. Oh, yeah. Shield. All right, well, that deals 27 as a mixture of bludgeoning and acid. The classic. Um... Are you wearing Ooh. armor? Of course. Your armor now has a minus one penalty to its armor class. Cool. Ouch. Yeah, good thing I just bought it. And I'm at one HP. Well. All right. The smaller one. Well, one of them's going to take a swipe at Franklin. Uh-huh. Does a 12 hit you? No. All right. The other is going to smack Royce. Um, under uh, quick aside, what um, I, I don't have to. I should make a Constitution saving throw. Yeah, for my shield of faith. Oh yes, if that that's concentration. Yes, you should. You want to get at least a fourteen. You want me to? All right. What? Sorry, I missed it. Did I did that 13 is the number you're looking for? Yeah, you're fine. Oh, great. All right, Royce, does doesn't 8 hit you? Out of sheer frustration? <laughs> nope. All right. All right, and then finally, Vagic. Question. Can, so, out of character, sleep. If I cast that, 20 feet behind the three monsters. Okay, the three shit monsters. Okay. That's what I would like to do. Okay. I'm just wondering how sleep works. Okay, if you're reading it, it's 20 foot radius, 
5d8 plus 2d8 slash slhp of conscious creatures fall asleep start at the lowest current hp creature question i'm just wondering how that works okay so do first I off are you casting type that in using a first level slot first level okay so that would be just 5d8 and if you cast that it will affect everyone in that radius which is basically the entire party except for Iris. So I'm casting. So my monsters. my what I was going to do was cast cast in the twenty feet past the, the ship monsters, so that way they were barely encompassed in the twenty foot radius. So they're the in the middle of the party, party would be escaping. I don't think, I don't think that's the, the only people that would be unaffected if you, if you did that. The only people unaffected by it would be you and Steven. Yeah, Everybody else could potentially okay. get affected by it. How sleep works is you roll that 5d8. That okay. represents the pool of hit points. And then starting with the creature that has the lowest current hit points, each creature affected by the spell falls unconscious, reducing the pool by that hit points. So You have a bunch of party members that are fairly low in hit points, probably lower than the monsters, and are more likely to be affected by your spell than the monsters are currently. I would... I would agree with that. Basically, okay. you're going to put your party to sleep for the monsters Thank to have a buffet. Oh, does that mean? Okay. I appreciate Kill me. the out-of-character conversation. Um, then, who's my buddy who's at 1 HP? That is Arya? No. Or Mercius? It's always Mercius. Yep. Mercius, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on you. So that'll be... And that'll be a first level. Let me click okay. on that first. Cure Wounds is a touch range be spell. One d Are you moving up to him then? It is. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay then. Then I'll throw a javelin at the big one. Okay. Roll to hit. Why not? Alright. I'm pulling it up. I believe it's 1d6 plus... My you have to roll the hit roll. first. That's the damage. I, yes. Because of my concentration yeah. spell. If I fail that, I would lose concentration. So, no, d20 we, plus your to hit modifier. Uh, magic. Yep, I'm, I'm typing it up right now. Sorry, I'm talking out loud. Bang. Maintain All right. Boom. That hits. Now you can roll damage. To, okay. Like, distracted by the queen. You have to roll a constitution. Um, D6. So I was just. Plus. Um, oh, shit. Three. I was just. Uh, uh, oh. I was just uh, uh, All right. Mercius, you want to mute your mic? Javelin sticks into it, begins sizzling along with Merzius's. What was uh, somebody asked me? Sorry, I was explaining something. Yeah, yeah, you you were hot micing that whole time. Oh, all right. Anything else? Yeah, no worries. Okay, sorry, but that'll be my turn then. Concentration. Okay, Elron. All right. Um, I missed a little bit. Did any update? Is there was there still the same amount of enemies? There are three enemies that you can see. One of which is in melee with you. Though it appears to be focusing on Franklin and the halfling on Franklin's back. Oh. Okay, let me see what do I have, what do I have, what do I have. Yeah, I don't know if you remember the first round, but the, the one of the big ones got hit by Franklin and split into two smaller ones. Oh yeah, and damage to his thing and all that. Yeah. So what do you do? All right, so uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and just, uh, I, I guess, just stab it with a dagger. All right, roll to hit. <clears throat> that hits. So go ahead and roll damage for your dagger. Yeah. Round and round. All right, you stab into it, your dagger sizzling away. As you can see the uh, acidic nature of it pitting and, you know, cracking the blade, which mm -hmm. now has a minus one damage uh, modifier. Can I, can I just, like, leave that dagger in it? 
Absolutely. Okay. I don't want to hold on to that. <laughs> okay, yeah, you just leave the dagger in it. You continue to hear it sizzling, and you're pretty sure that after a few rounds, it'll probably dissolve the entire dagger. Okay. You know you want to cast Shackle. Um, can I tell if I'm doing damage at all? Or yes, is it you just... can tell. It did take damage. Okay. It's just, it's it's a shit monster, so, you know, it's not like it bleeds or anything. All right, and then, uh, yeah, that'll be it. All right, Steve. Um, is there any resistance? Uh, is there any way to check if these have resistances to anything? Well, if you shoot it with something and it doesn't have as much of an effect as you were planning on, yeah, then you... All right, well, let's going to go... I'm going to cast Inflict Wounds on the big one. Okay, so that's a touch range spell, so you're going to go past the two small ones and up to the big one? That's a touch range? Oh, it is a touch range spell. Okay. Um... Do I have to touch it with my hand, or can I touch it with like a javelin or something? Like a stick. Uh, you have to touch it with your hand. Oh shit! How the spells work? That's fair. I have gloves. The book I have of death. I have I have uh I have I have gloves on. I don't just fuck up my gloves. <laughs> I don't want to set shit on fire because we'll all die. Okay, well then I will cast Sacred Flame. Okay, targeting which one? Uh, the little one. One of the little ones. Okay, do you want the one closer to you or farther away from you? Uh, definitely closer to me. Okay. That guy's gotta die. Alright, it tries to dodge. It fails horribly. Roll damage. Hell yeah. Radiant damage. It has, it has 1d8 plus 3. It's just a 1d8. Yep. Okay. Yourself oh, that was beautiful. All right, yeah, you call down holy fire on it, which chars like the outer crust of this thing black. Um, still alive, but uh, it looks less like shit and more like tar now. Nice. I think that's good. Is that, is that because, because it's weak to radiant, radiant damage, damage, or is it just, it just more? It did not look like it took any. Rather. Like it didn't look look like it took more damage than you were expecting from that. Simply That's that you, you basically you cleaned it up by burning away a lot of the shit on its outer surface. I see, I did it a favor. <laughs> well, you did hurt it. That's cool. Um, and then with my bonus action, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit my boy uh, my boy Merxius with the uh, healing word. Okay. Yeah. Roll it. All right. One d four plus one d four plus spell plus four. Oh shit! I love that. It's so just 2d4. You're casting it at second level? Yes. Excellent. What? Why? What do you mean, why? Because I have one health. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I missed that part. Okay, sorry. Bingo. All right, Mercy, <laughs> you heal for 11 points of damage. You're welcome. Hell yeah. Wait, oh. Uh, you heal for 11 points. I was like, am I weak to... Um, and then do I have any movement, or will that take an attack of opportunity? Um... Well, you have all of your movement. You have not moved. Um, you'd only you're not currently in melee with either of the uh, two smaller ones. It's like okay. seven feet away from you. Sure. Um, if you move forward and like try to get past them, yeah, you would provoke attacks of opportunity. But in your current position, if you were like to back up, you would not. I just want to back up just a little bit, probably like five feet. That way, I can get okay, me five a feet little behind you is magic. You'd have to go ten feet. All right, then I'll go ten feet. Okay. You back up, putting magic between you and the slimes. Love you, buddy. I'll save you. All right, Franklin. Yeah, I'm a whack one of the small what? ones with a flail. Okay. Uh, do you want left or right? Uh, right. Okay. Roll to hit. That hits. All right, you smack down on it with the flail, dealing, you know, little splatters of it going everywhere, um, including on the flail, which now has a minus one damage mod. Okay. 
Anything else? Uh, that's it. All right, Berzius. Uh, so we still have the, the three, the two little, and the one big one right beside me? Yes, the big one's right beside you, and then the two little ones a little bit behind you. All right. Well, man, um, I'm hurting for a squirting over here. Um, oh, yeah, you heard me. I fuck it. I'm going to just take out the uh, the well. I'll just keep using that same. Uh, now I'll use the javelin. Go for him again, big guy, right beside me. We'll stab, stab. All right, you're stabbing with the javelin. Sure, yeah, a new one. I've got five. Okay, pull out a fresh javelin and go for the stab. Roll to hit. That is a hit. Gross. Roll damage. <laughs> Heavy. Gross. Hey All right, yeah, you stab into it. You know, ichor and acid kind of, you know, start leaking out of it. Your javelin uh, having that minus one damage mod. Um, but yeah, it, it's you know looking a little rough. You know, bits of uh, internal like ooze and acid kind of flowing out of it into the uh, shit stream beneath it. The cool. smell, if if possible, has gotten even worse. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I say, uh, that's how they smell bad. On the outside, uh, it ain't my turn. <laughs> All right, Royce. All right, so how many are left? Three. The same amount. And one, one looks... Beat up. The big one looks, one looks bloody. Like about to split. The two the small morning. ones next to you are not. I'm just going to do the same thing. Spend a key point, take three, one at each. Okay. I have no idea how much health they have. You are taking ranged attacks while creatures in melee with you. You have disadvantage on the attack rolls. Uh, oh. Fire, fire all three at the, uh, the big one. Or just do them one at a time. If the big one goes down, you can change your target, can't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I'll just fire... I'll start firing at the big one. I'll just do okay. one at a time. Oh, shoot. Whoops, that's a capital R. 13. Roll again, you have disadvantage. Oh, oh I... Th wait... While you, whenever a creature is in melee with, if uh, enemies in melee with you, any ranged attacks you make are at disadvantage. Oh, not just against that creature. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, that was my bad. No, I misspoke here. A ten still hits. Cool. I'll give you a hint. These guys have a real shitty AC. That's what I figured. Yeah. I've noticed. <laughs> All right, yeah, you mm -hmm. blow a little bit more of it. Nice. It's still there. Okay, I'll fire my second one at it. Oh, wait, okay, so bang RR. Two. That's. D20. Keep low. If you're one. just trying to make one attack, it's just bang R. And then 2D20 KL1. What you just did there was you rolled two iterations of 1d20. So this was only one attack. Yeah. A 5, unfortunately, does miss. I figured. You can roll that together with just a single R and no space between the 2 and the D. And that will roll 2d20 and keep the lower one, rather than rolling it twice. Oh, okay. Yeah. You'll see the difference. I don't think that was it. Nope. No, you need to delete the space between the two and the D. Okay. Try it again. 
because that did not do what you thought it did. That just that just defined it as two. Eleven. Yep, eleven hits. So you see how it crossed out the ten there? That, yep. That's that's what a disadvantage roll looks like. Gotcha. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Six. Okay. Six more damage. All right, you blow little by little, you whittle it away, but it's still there. Anything else? Um, as an item interaction, can I um, hand Franklin a potion of healing? Yes, you can. I would like to do that. All right. Franklin, you have a potion of healing in your hand. All right. Anything else, Royce? Uh, that's it. All right. Ira. 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 I was trying to fix the roll, sorry. Or the, uh, the march order. Don't um, worry about it. Uh, longbow, two, big guy. Rolled it. Um, Ira, I am in front of Steve. He moved behind me. Cool. I'm like 60 feet away from you guys. I don't know. I'm just letting you know. Because you wrote it. Yeah. Pew pew. That hits. Merzius Somebody still in melee? In, yeah, Mercy okay. is in melee with it. Whack. Okay. Yeah, you blast into it. And you know, the bulk starts sticking through the front of it a little as it slowly dissolves into muck. But the monster is still there. Alright, I'll just take action. And then that's it. Oh. Sorry, lost you there, Iris. Say again? I said I'll just take action. That's a no move or bonus. Ah, okay. Oh. I don't think there's anywhere I can really hide, is there? Not really, no. You're in a tunnel. I don't, I don't feel like swimming. Stream. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see this guy. Well, this guy's gonna try to punch uh, Merzius. Does a twenty hit you, Merzius? Merzius, you here? I'm, I'm sure it hits him. <laughs> yeah, there's no way he has a twenty-one. My armor class is now. His Merzius, say again. Only Merzius, say again. Everybody shut up. I yes, it does hit. That is my armor class, or was my armor class because of that last hit. Okay. Well, it smacks you for another twenty-five bludgeoning and acid. I am on um under. Hold on. All right, so yeah, you fall unconscious. Your armor is now at minus two. Wait, is that I it? Don't care. care. All right, magic. What is it? Uh, All right, moving on. Small guys. First one's going to attack Franklin. Does a fifteen hit you, Franklin? No. All right, and then the second one at Royce. Does a twelve hit Royce? No. All right, those two guys miss. Vagic, it is your turn. Vagic, are you here? I'm here. Do you not hear me? I hear you now. No. Okay. Um, so previously I had said I wanted to rebuke the violent before the end of their turn as a reaction okay. to the one who did the 25 damage to, uh, was that Merzius? That was to Merzius, yeah, you can go ahead and rebuke to. the violent. Okay, so that'll be, um, I can rebuke it, it takes the same damage it is dealt, but as a radiant damage with the wisdom save, uh, which I believe is a 10 for, uh, against me. Or, I think it's a, right? Or do I have to find my uh, ability save DC? Uh, well, let's see what its wisdom save is. Let's see. Uh, you hear me? Da, 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 da. Yes, I hear you. Yeah. Uh, so your wisdom save will be 8 uh, plus your proficiency mod plus your wis uh, your uh, paladin, right? Or what kind of caster are you? 
Paladin. Paladin, so I'm a charisma. So yeah. I'm plus two to charisma. Right, so it'd be uh, eight to your level three, so it'd be 12. It has, to, it has to roll less than a 12. Okay, so it takes half of the damage then that it dealt, so it'd be 12 damage or 13? 12. I'm down. Okay. 12 damage, and it looks okay. like that put it on the verge of death. All right, but Vetch, okay. it is now your turn. Nice so job, what would Bob. you like to do? Oh, um, look at me, look at my spells. Question, do healing potions have a splash effect, or do they have no. to end up in uh, internal to the... They have to be consumed. They do not have a splash effect, okay. Or really, okay. they have to be imbibed. You can force and... one down someone's throat. Okay. How far am I away from um, our downed fellow? Merzius. He is, let's see, across and then over. So that would be uh, 5, 10, 20. It'd be 30 feet of movement to get to him. You would provoke a tax for opportunity. 30 for feet, that's including? That's including the jump. Okay. And moving through friendly spaces. Uh, that would provoke okay. a tax for opportunity from both of the small slimes, though. Don't do it. Well, please, I please also don't. only have a 25-foot uh, area. So I... Ooh, what do I have as bonus actions? Don't do it. No, no. Don't, don't bother trying to get to Mercy. Yeah, don't no, I can't. I can't. I can't. No, I'm not going to. Um, I'll buy... To move within melee of the wep of the um, slimes. Okay. And then I'll cast oh, wait, I guess uh, I Shield of Faith. As uh, oh wait, no, I need an action first. Let's do shoot. Question: Does sleep work on people who are unconscious? So say if I casted sleep, it would not affect my friends who are unconscious. So the lowest um, health beat creatures would be the our our foes, correct? At this point in time. Well, you're not. It's not entirely clear. You don't know how many points your foes have. Um, as for sleep, it mm -hmm. would affect people that are unconscious. But since they're already unconscious, it just it basically just has the same effect as them being unconscious. Their unconsciousness is unconsciousness. Okay. Okay, then I will cast sleep. You on, need to damage these things, Bob. Um, what's that? You need to damage these things. I will. Um, I'll cast. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'll do sleep on these on the foot on the fiends. So twenty foot radius. So it may or may not affect um, the friends. So we'll do that. So uh, be what five d eight? Yeah, roll five d eight if that's for sure you want to do. Uh, yeah, yep. Eight. And then plus my modifier or no? Nope, no modifier. Just straight five d eight. My attack modifier. Okay. Okay. Fifteen. Yep. So what is everyone's current? Okay. Ple everyone, please. Um. So this will affect everyone in the combat except for Ira, Vagic, and Steve. Everyone else, please put your current hit points in the chat. Assume it wouldn't affect me because... Yeah, yeah, you don't need to bother. <laughs> zero is zero. Yep. I go, is this like going to le second level and it's after... All right, you see the shit monster, the big one, slowly deflate. Uh, like it's um, it's still standing, but it's not moving as much. 
almost like it's just breathing. Franklin also falls <laughs> unconscious. Royce, you land prone on the ground next to Franklin as your ride just fell unconscious. Okay. And then, <laughs> and as a bonus action, I'd like to cast Shield of Faith. No. You cannot cast a leveled spell and a bonus action spell in the same turn. <laughs> Hello, Magic. Then that will. Uh... Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello. So you... Yes, I hear you. What do you do? Okay. Um. Uh, um. So I cannot cast that as a bonus action. Then no. Not in the same turn you cast after sleep, casting you... sleep. Correct. Okay. All right. Then um. How fuck? How much movement speed do I have left between myself and Franklin? Uh, between you and Franklin is the five feet. He's just across the stream. Five feet. Yeah. Okay. Can I? Okay. Then I can I go over and um, force a health potion down Franklin's throat. You sure. Mean, like, the one I have and like rub his throat so he swallows it uh, while he's wait. unconscious. No, sleep is an action. So is using a potion like that. No. Ah, Bob, there's nothing else okay, I can do. Okay, so, well then, um, he has... Never mind, I'll end my turn. Okay. All right, Elrond. Uh, okay, the little guys are in melee. Right? Say again? The little guys are in melee with my friends. Yes. And or myself, I suppose. Um... That makes it really rough. Okay, oh yeah, just uh Yeah, I'll... is it one look weaker than the other? The big one is Uh the big dead. one looks to be almost dead. The two smaller ones just look injured. Uh, how long does sleep last? Do I know that? I mean I have sleep. I mean... Yeah, you know that. Uh it lasts one minute. Okay, in turns. That yeah, that's a bunch of rounds of combat. Okay, yeah, um, I 60. will just go ahead and stab the weaker of the small ones. Okay, they look about equal to you. Uh, all right, which one is whatever's one's closer to me with the dagger? Okay, a roll to hit. Um, uh, that's it, right? I believe. All right, that hits. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm fucking something up. All right, there we go. Sorry. Match damage. Boom, stabbed. Oh, All right, yeah, it takes damage. It's still there. And Steven is up. Franklin's. He's alive, right? He's just really hurt. And Mercy I'm is. I'm alive. I'm just asleep. Bro. Yeah, he fell asleep. Sorry, what did you uh, attack this with again? The, the dagger. dagger. All right, yeah. So that dagger is now sizzling. Minus one yeah. damage. Yeah, stab, stab and leave again. All right. I got plenty of those fucking things. All right, um, <laughs> and then I'm going to give uh, some inspirational words to my unconscious boy over there, if he can hear it in his dreams. Uh, uh huh. Mercy needs them more than I do. Yeah, which one, Mercyus or? No, oh, Mercyus. I thought okay. Franklin was awake. No, he's asleep. No, I'm asleep. Mercy no, you're asleep, but you have a health point, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Mercyus was the one I was going for, anyways. Sorry, Franklin. All right, so you're just giving him a bardic inspiration? Yes, sir. All righty. Anything else? Oh, in my turn. Thank you. All right, Steve. And I'm going to... 
step to the side of Vagic so I don't hit him with my light crossbow. And I'm going to rip it one of the little ones, uh, the one that didn't just get hit last. Okay, sure. Roll to hit. That hits. Yeah, it does. Just barely, but it hits. Mm-hmm. Mm. Thank you. There we go. All right. Big time. And this one now looks bloodied. Oh yeah, it does. Thank Christ. And then I'm oh, gonna shit. use and then I'm gonna use my bonus action to again cast healing word on my boy Merck's over there. Alright. Roll it. Both. Wow, what a roll. Alright, well Merzies, you wake up. With a very bad taste in your mouth from the shit-covered floor, but you are awake with seven hit points. Prone on the ground. I was dreaming, dreaming of this. Awesome. awesome. All right. Steve, anything else? Uh, no, that, sir, that's it. All right. Franklin snoozing away. Merzius. Um... So, so who denied the healing was it, was it back when two hit now? Hit now. Um, um, Mergis, I'm hearing like echo I... through Steve's mic. How much? I... Say again. Testing, testing. I hear you now. Um. All right. I. Uh, how tall is uh, the ceiling here? Ten feet. All right. The guy who was on me, the, the ship piles asleep, yeah? The biggest. Doesn't look to be moving much. All right. I, I'm i going to pop your wings out of my fucking uh, charred, brand new $400 breastplate. Okay. And, uh, fly up and back a little bit and uh, see you know, the big guy. I'm going to. Toss a javelin at the most one of my weakened ones at the most uh, bloodied little guy. So you're throwing it at the bloodied little guy. Got it. Yeah. Roll to hit. Whichever one hurt the most. Well, the one that's hurt the most is the big one that's fallen asleep. Right. Well, that's why I specified little guy. Okay. Ugh. You guys hear this bloosh as the javelin just disappears into the shit stream. I say, I think we can uh, write that one off. And uh, <laughs> not a thank you to Steve and just in my turn uh, up and back. All right. Royce, you are prone on the ground. Um. Okay. I will use half my movement speed to stand up. Uh-huh. And the big one that is asleep is now in front of me, correct? Correct. Is the no. only one in front of me, right? No, you are next to the two small ones. Oh, okay. Um, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll take. Uh, I'm gonna just use three more, three more radiant bolts at disadvantage, I guess. At which ones? Uh, the, whichever the bloodiest looking one. Well, that's the big guy that's asleep. Then the bloodiest awake one. All right. Oh, that's the one right in front of you. So yeah, you cool. can make your attack rolls with disadvantage. I'll just do. Is it okay if I just do them one at a time? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Um. Probably not gonna hit. That unfortunately misses. Yeah. That javelin that went into the shit, uh, it just got blown up. <laughs> Oof. Really, really blown up. <laughs> Fuck that javelin. I, I, I'm under the impression that where that javelin landed is where one of the slimes is. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, there's a fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Wait, I'm supposed to be doing plus five. Oh, but what a what a eight hit on that first one. Yes. Okay, because I'm supposed to be doing plus five, not plus three. Sorry. Okay, no problem. 
Uh, well, go ahead and roll damage for that. Uh, so two okay. hits then. Go ahead and roll damage okay. for both of them. Good catch, man. Good catch. Mm. Here's the first one. Max damage. Here's Johnny. In fact, they all hit. Oh, they all hit. Yeah. Oh wow. The small sweet. one can lower AC. Their AC is a seven. Seven. A seven does. Oh, sweet. Wow. Um. Okay. So that's the first one on the bloody small small one. Uh huh. It's still there. Also. On that same one. <laughs> Two max damage, baby. Oh! Okay. It, that small one looks to be on the verge of death as your third one connects. Go ahead and roll damage for it. That was the second one. I know. After the second one, it looks to be on the verge of death. Go ahead and roll damage again for your third hit. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I misunderstood. Yep, that's fine. Not max damage. All right, doesn't matter. You blow it away. It is gone. Yes! You could always just kick me in the head to wake me up. <laughs> Can I use the rest of my movement speed to kick Franklin in the head and wake him up? You're a monk, right? I am. So you can just make a bonus action attack on him. I used my key point as a bonus action to make two extra radiant sunbolt attacks. Ah. I, don't have, I don't have a bonus action. Ah, damn it. <laughs> then unfortunately you uh, don't have the ability to awaken him. Okay. Is So since I killed the one that was in front of me, if I use the rest of my movement speed to, to move further away... Or am I in between the slimes right now? No. Then no, you are I... not in melee with the slime at the moment. So if I move as far away from, I guess, the slimes as possible, which I think is like 17 feet, okay. would I take an opportunity attack? You would not. Then I would like to do that. All right, you back up. And that is my turn. Okay, Ira. Okay, what, uh, what goobers are still up? Uh, the big one looks to be asleep. One of the small ones looks to be damaged. Good uh, Fire at one the uh, the big one then. Twang. All right. You have advantage because it is, in fact, unconscious. I'm going to wake it up. Maybe. I think it will. It will wake Twang. up very briefly. He well, is the closest to death, the closest to death of the There's two. No, you had advantage on the attack. Oh, right, right. Never mind. So, yeah, you just crit sneak attacked it while it was unconscious. Dang. Three at the end looks so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, your arrow hits, and you guys just hear this the sound of like like a wet sluice just letting go, and you and you just kind of see bits of it start to go down the shit river as it begins flowing more freely here. It is gone. All right. Anything else? Yay. Right? Um. Not really, because I don't think I can do any bonus... Wait, let me check my spells. I don't think I have any bonus action damage spells, but let me check. One action, one action, one... No, no, I don't. Okay, yep, that's it. All right. Well, the last remaining slime is going to attack Franklin. Of course. Oh, god damn it. He's got a very bright shell, so... He does have a very bright shell. Doesn't a level... No. All right, it... Just bounces off your shell <laughs> to no effect. Dozen. Vagic, it is your turn. What am I? Am I in melee 18? with the last slime? Nope, it died. Uh, you're the last one's like ten feet away. From the one you. I was in melee with died. Yes, the one you were in melee okay. with died. The um, one's ten feet away. Okay, can I move twenty feet back? Or actually, I would like to move into melee with it and attack it with another javelin. Okay. Roll to hit. Just stab that little fucker. Yep. Alright. D. Whoa, 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 whoa. We whoa. Wow, wow, we Alright, that hits. Oh, yeah, that hits. Oh, yeah, baby. Thank God. Yeah, anybody You're fighting something weak right now? I I got it, man. I'm just too tired. Oh. They, they're weak, but they hit like fucking tanks. <laughs> All right, you weak, stab into it with your javelin. Does some yeah. damage. Your javelin starts sizzling and takes a minus one damage mod. They can hit oh, like I'm leaving me. that fucker in there. Okay, you leave it in there. So. Stab and leave. Yep. Anything else? In fact, 
I would like to, as a bonus action, grant Shield of Faith onto Franklin. So he's plus two AC for the duration of the spell, which I believe is, what, one hour or ten minutes? Uh, that's a big difference. But I believe it's concentration for either one or ten Shield minutes. Shield of Faith. Ten minutes. Don't worry about it. It is a concentration spell, but for ten, yeah. Okay. Well, ten minutes. Okay. Are you? Uh, that brings me up to a twenty. Alrighty. Anything else, Patrick? All right, and that'll be my turn. All right, Elrond. That'll be it. Yeah, one alive, right? One alive. Shatter. Fuck no! (laughs) Hey, wasted a fucking second level spell slot. We can get out of here. Damn it, we could dance. Cast sleep on it. Rape it. What are you doing, Elrond? Uh, stabbing like a dagger before I was rudely interrupted. Okay, roll to hit. Just try to persuade it. You hit, roll damage. Alrighty, well, you bloody it with that blow. Are you leaving the dagger in as it starts sizzling? Absolutely. Alright. All right. In my turn. Alright, Steve. I'm gonna just whack it again with a crossbow. I'll roll to hit. They're not hitting me, bitch. Fuck you. I'll do what I want. You hit it. Roll damage. Yeah, I did. Were you surprised? Right. Oozing confidence, boys. <laughs> Your bolt hits it. There's a sizzle as the bolt is eaten by it. It takes damage. It's still alive? Butter. Oh, yeah. It's bloodied, but still alive. All right. Anything okay. else? That's it for me. Franklin is snoring. Merzius, your turn. Um, um, just, just, just to clarify, clarify earlier, you earlier said he could attack Franklin to wake him up. You, we can also just use an action, like a help, okay, help, yeah. 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 All right. All right. Sleep, sleep. Will, yeah, I can hear you, Steve. Sleep can. Yes, the spell says you can use an action to wake someone up. In melee. I, uh, I fly. Is he in melee with the slug guy? Yes. Alright. Um, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna <laughs> fucking throw a javelin at All right, the, roll the, the slime, the little guy. <laughs> Just a player. Okay. <laughs> All right. That is. It's hitting there. In black. Okay. Yeah, your javelin goes in. Start sizzling. Anything else? What? That's it. All right, Royce. Um. Okay. Uh, there's just one slime left. I will. So the wording of Radiant Sunbolt is if he uses an attack action, spend one no, I can't use it as an unarmed strike, huh? Uh no, it's I not can't I can't strike. yeah, I can't. Just I can't hit it. it this yeah. Um yeah, I'm just gonna toss a radiant sunbolt at it as my action. Okay, roll to hit. That hits, roll damage. Oh, so close. Six. All right, it looks to be on the verge of death, but it is still alive. Ah. Uh, okay, can I now use my bonus act? Is Franklin awake yet? Nope. Can I get to Franklin without taking an opportunity attack? Yep. Can I kick him in the face to wake him up? Yep, roll to hit. You have advantage. <laughs> you have to get through his armor. 
Oh, okay, sorry, wait, with advantage. Bang R. You have to hit above an 18. <laughs> Got 20. That. You have to hit above a 20. Oh, he has advantage. <clears throat> Oof. Okay. Actually, you have a 20 that's, AC. Um, that's that's not, yeah. not the proper way to roll advantage. Do it again. Number of dice. Number of dice. How many dice oh. are you rolling? How many dice are you rolling? Roll Two. Again. Yeah, just roll one d20. Plus five. Just just one? one yeah, plus one yeah. Plus you already five. have a 13, so... We take all the rolls. <laughs> hey! hey! All right, Royce. Um, Thank you, Franklin. So, that does damage, so roll damage for it. An unarmed mm. strike is... Uh, low, baby. Automatic... Four at least. So. Is he still at one? I'm at ten. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god. Six off. damage, you're at four, but you're awake. Oh, Alright, shit. Frankly, you get kicked in the face for six damage, waking you up. Oh, uh, great. Alright, and he also works? You're, you're welcome, bud. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I'll, I'll use whatever remaining movement I have left to get away from the slime. Okay, you run back. Ira. Well... <sighs> Playing. Roll to hit. Uh, Playing. Okay. That hits. There are allies in melee with it. Thwack. All right, you guys, you guys hear the I'm sound of a balloon deflating, just and it just falls into the into the uh, shit stream. I, I loot the slimes. Just kidding. And it sorry, is gone. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, you guys are out of initiative. Oh, dang. dang. God. Onward! Maybe, maybe down that health rest. potion. Under, does my uh, armor start to regenerate? <laughs> no. Fuck. No, that's permanent. Do you, want, do you want one more health potion, Franklin? Oh, can he get it looked at by a blacksmith? He could, yeah. Okay. I better. If we go see I mean, one. Wait, do blacksmiths have more on their... What? No. Stop it. Come on. It's been like... What, what's the move? Are we, are we, are we going to take uh, a short we're gonna rest? Conti we're going to continue on. To, unless, yeah, unless, gonna, how how bad is everybody health-wise? I'm at full health, but that's because I'm a glass cannon and I have 21 HP. I'm, I'm at full health. I'm at full health. I'm, I'm at, at full health. Four. I'm at full health with 28. Do you need so to know what... Do you need to know what roll for that potion? Yeah, I'm just gonna start downing potions. Okay, I have Each two. Potion, Franklin, is two d four plus two. Okay. Do you want a second potion? And I'll yeah, cast sure. hands on. Okay, Mark. you can have my last potion. Can I give my potion to? <laughs> yes, you can. Three now, or three extra now. All right, I have well, one potion one left. Hand. Bring him that heals you for eight, then. Let me bring me up to twelve. I guess it would be foolish to. And that would bring me up to nineteen. Okay. Bring then wait. I have cure wounds. Okay. You're going to use it on so, Mercs. Yes, yeah, he's, he's hurt more. I'll be... I'm fine. I'm good. Oh, so, Mercs. How many... What are you at, Mercs? Dude, are you, are you in, in Yoki right now? How the hell? <laughs> Um, um, I, I, I'm where the I am a, also, also a, a paladin. I'm good. I, I, I can so heal myself. So I'm really really about, about, about this. Uh, all right. No, Franklin, all right. We'll do... So no short rest is what I'm hearing. Yes, no short rest. Absolutely not. We're, we're fine. Let's keep going. Okay. So it's one... Bang on... Is it like 10 a.m. right now? It's 1.30 here. Yeah, it's like midnight. It's like, it's like no, I'm in in-game, sorry. In-game, sorry, in -game. In -game, it is... Oh, so God. It's oh. like 10 o'clock in the morning. I was going to say, I don't even 
that late in the morning. Like we we pretty much beeline for this place and walk through. I suppose we were walking through the sewers for quite a while, weren't we? Oh wait. Yeah. I made a couple survivals. So. Yep. Okie dokie. So you guys patch each other up. So I'll patch each other up. All right. Seven fourteen. What is Merce at? Does Merce, did you hear me when I gave you a healing potion? Nineteen plus seven is twenty-eight. Um, I, I did you guys take into account the ten HP that you had? We didn't have that because you have to choose to use that. Oh, okay. It's an activate. Okay. Yeah. I didn't want to use it yet. Yeah, no yeah, one's used it, it yet. Save it. We ha yeah, we have the big bad coming up here soon. So. Just, just to clarify, under I didn't lose. Or do I feel like I might have lost that when I not... lost what? Sorry, I, I the blessing. This up. The blessing? No, you have not used the blessing unless you chose to use it. Uh, I just want to make sure that it wasn't the thing that. If I was... No, you you still have it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Just just for just to keep things simple, um, it's basically it's permanent until you use it, and then once you use it, it's gone. I'm not using it. Let's go. Yep. All right. We keep it moving. We're keeping on. We're keeping on. All right, Mama. You guys re get into your formation. Who you start off down the sewers again? Ira, I need a another survival check from you as you navigate these sewers. Can I turn the light off? Yes, you can. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody Click. keep an eye out for shit. <laughs> Did you see those things in also, dark vision? Or? Mm -mm. Uh, that's what I was going to ask under. Next time if I see something suspicious, I'm not going to stop five feet away from it. <laughs> you said you walked up to it and investigated it, so that that's why. No, I, I said, can I investigate it? I never said I walked up to it. Can I investigate it from 20 yeah. feet away? Yeah, basically, I wanted to not look closer really, at no. it. So I would have just told you, you can make a perception check, but investigation requires close examination, generally speaking. Okay. Yeah, that's okay then for future reference. If that happens again, yeah, I would prefer perception so I can look at it from a distance. Okay, that's fine. I'm not, you know, glass canning standing next to something that does more damage than my HP pool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you must. Uh, I don't mind traps. Those won't freaking kill me, except for that one time. Mm -hmm. um, All right. <laughs> except when they do. <laughs> except for that one time. Okay, so yeah, 18. Uh, All carry right. Yeah, so you guys keep going through the sewers. Voiding the sounds of what sounds like crocodiles down one one area. And eventually you come to a T-intersection, Ira. And as you kind of look around the corner to the north, you see that this sewer tunnel slopes up gradually. Um, and you can see about... Do, 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 it'd be 5, 10, 15, 20... Yeah, about 20 feet ahead of you is a set of vertical iron bars running from floor to ceiling. A slow stream of sewage just flowing down into the merging with the main sewer line. You also notice that unlike the other parts of the sewers where the floors are kind of squicky, you know, they're, they got like this like thin oily film on them that kind of like sticks to your boots as you walk through it. The floor, starting about halfway towards the the uh, iron bars, is, is like pristine. Like, like there is like nothing on it at all. Um, check. And yeah, this, is the, this is to the north, right? Look at that from a distance. Sorry, Ira, what was that? Are these are, are these floors made of? Is your name Ira? <laughs> <laughs> Boom roasted. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I really am, but dear God. <laughs> okay, can I take a perception check at it? Yeah, sure, make a perception check. Mm. It's a very clean-looking floor. I don't trust that. I'm, uh, I've you also noticed that beyond the uh, bars, the floor is dirty again. It's like only the section right in front of the bars. Yeah, I, I, I still, I'm, I'm trusting my uh, instinct, and I'm, I'm still not believing what I see. I'm going to throw a ball bearing at it. Okay, you throw a ball bearing at it, and with like this little ripple in the air, it just stops. And the ripple kind of has a cube shape to it. 
Yellow shots. Run away. Yeah, Yellow you should shots. roll initiative at this point. Deja vu. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> as soon as as soon as I saw, as soon as I heard him say squeaky clean floor, I was like, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a cube? Fuck. This has to be. It's a it is clear no cube way. with a very clean floor. There's 100%. No way. This is how we died last time. Do not. Yeah, this is what killed our party of three with, what were we, level three then? Yeah. yeah. We'll be fine, guys. Oh, no. How much floor space do we have under? I didn't hear you describe it all. Sorry. Um. Well, it's like up a T-junction, so that would be about uh, 10 feet away from you. Oh no! Sorry, fifteen feet away from you. My bad. Wow, the rolls the squares. Yeah. Did you get another nat twenty? No, he just got a twenty. Yeah. <laughs> You're the fucking initiative god, dude. Uh, him and I have been on. And then he doesn't. And then he doesn't do damage. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't even swung his sword in like three fucking seconds. What are you talking about? I swung his sword last session, and I stabbed that one slime with three daggers. I only have seven daggers left. <laughs> Ooh, Gracie, my last name. Yeah, you... sorry about that. I was no, I'm cool with it. <laughs> Just <typing. laughs> Oh, Franklin, <laughs> yeah, is that your initiative roll? The thirteen? Uh, yes. All right. Are you sure? <laughs> I rolled initiative. I just. Yeah, I, just, I, I must have rolled the break I put in it so I could easily spot it. Right. And uh, just right. to ask one more, how far away are we? Because I'm assuming marching orders were all single file. Yep, single file. Um, you're the formation you gave me, so you know, you're know you in the front at that corner. Ten feet behind you is Merzias, then L, Ron Franklin with Royce on his back, Steve, and then Vagic. Um, the gelatinous cube is to your right, 15 feet away. Okay, cool. So, so I'm not right on top of it. Nope. Nope, because you stayed at the corner and you looked. <laughs> and you threw shit at it. <laughs> <laughs> you threw shit at it, because obvious trap is obvious. All right, Elrod. Do, do I get a damage for the ball bearing? I threw it. Improvised weapon. <laughs> no. <laughs> One ball bearing? No. I tried. <laughs> All right, so Elrod, what do you do? Okay, how big is the cube? Unknown. You didn't see it. You're not at the corner. Oh shit! Um, can maybe, I maybe an issue? Maybe cast well, some my, maybe cast uh, light so I can see. My when I stopped at the corner, I would have uh, you know did a hand signal or something and said, "Hold up, bad guy," or something like you know there's something up. Yeah, you guys know there's something up. That's why I had you roll initiative. Okay, how um, far am I from the corner? How far is he? Is he at the corner? Yeah, he's at the corner. So that would be uh, let's see, twenty feet of movement for you to get there. Ooh. Um. Yeah, who doesn't have dark vision? Roy, to mute your mic, Tommy. Please. Me and Franklin. Sorry. Uh, uh, can I just uh, cast light on a ball bearing and hand it like back behind me to, or toss it over to Royce? I hope he sees it coming. Yeah, you can do that. Royce, I assume you have no problem catching it. Go under my nostrils. So <laughs> Rice, are you here? You're muted. Sorry, yeah, no, I shove it in my nose so it's like poking out, but it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so you're like, going to hold your breath then so it doesn't fall out? No, I'll just, I'll just hold it. Okay. Um, did Ira let me know how far he was from it? Can I judge that by the hand signal that's he gave me? Uh, that's up to no, I, I wouldn't have given any distance or anything like that. I would have just stopped the party and then said basically something's up. So you would have to move up to see. And mm. uh, you would see a ball bearing suspended in the air just chilling there, though. Remember that. I did mark okay. it. So I'll move up to Ira's position. Take a peek. Mm -hmm. How far is it? 15 feet away. This ball 15 bearing feet? floating in space. Yeah. 1 5. Mm, okay. Can I just move to that? Five foot section in between Burst and Ira. Well, more than five feet between him and I. Yeah, there's there's ten feet between Merzius and Ira. Is, is there a space to occupy between them? Yes, is what I'm asking. There's, there's two spaces. 
Oh, two spaces. Okay, so every okay, yeah. So I'll just uh till right behind Ira after I took that peek and kind of signal back to the people like, hey, um, something weird, fifteen feet ahead, around the corner. All right, bye. End of turn. Okay. And Steve. Um, one, I can want to go ahead and, and just glance at the water, see if I see anything that's maybe lurking or, you know. Make a perception check. Sure. Uh, 17. Nah, we'll say shit. That's fair. Okay. Um... I guess move up to the rest of the party, like stack up behind uh, Ira and just, uh, I guess it's not good. So already an attack. Well, there's space in front of me. Oh, I want to go in front of you. That's the silly goose thing to do. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. You can stack up behind uh, Ira and Elrond. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Ira, it's your turn. Um, can I move ahead, but not towards it? Like, can I move more down the... Um, it's a T intersection, so yeah, you can just hop across. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking at doing. Okay. You have a strength of at least eight, right? Strength is 12. Okay, yeah, so you have no problem jumping over the uh, stream. Can I get line of sight on the gelatinous cube? Sort of. Well, you know it's the there, but it's clear. Yeah. I, I can see the ball bearing. Yes, you can see the ball bearing. It's floating in space. Okay. Right well, I am going to uh, launch an arrow at that ball bearing. See if I can Robin Hood it. All right. Roll to hit. Thwang. That hits. Roll damage. And thwack. Okay. Your arrow missed the ball bearing. However, it leaves this track of, like, clear gelatin like a shot through ballistics gel. Oh, uh, near. interesting. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to uh, see if we can do that again. But uh, for now, um, can I like sit around a corner from it? Or not really, maybe? Like all the way around? Not the corner that I was originally at, but is there another corner that I could sit around? Well, it's a T intersection, so you cross from the party, which is on the east side to the west side. Okay. The, and then it Gelatis goes cube is north. Okay, so I can sit on the corner of the north, that, that wall right there. Yeah, you can sit there. That's where you shot from. Yep, okay. I just want to be able to hide. Oh, yeah. You can just go around the corner and hide, yes. That's what I'm doing. Make yourself check. Yoink. Okay, okay that's it. All right. We'll, we'll see if a gelatinous cube understands object permanence. Franklin, your turn. Um. So I'm going to enter... Angry Turtle mode. Uh huh. Um, I'm going to look around the corner and see if I can spot the arrow that I saw Ira just fire. Uh, yeah, you can see the arrow. You can see this track of what looks to be gelatin just through the air and this ball bearing suspended in the air. All right, I'm going to whack the ball bearing. All right, you run up to it and whack the ball bearing. Roll to hit. Um, I love the idea. It's a 24 hit. Deception. Yes, it does. Roll damage. Uh, is this with your battle axe? Yeah. Oh, remember the uh, minus one. That'd be a plus four then. No, 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 you still get the same to hit. It's just minus one of damage. Right. That's what I meant. Like he, you can see, he has a plus. I was, four I was telling Franklin. Yeah, yeah, no. He, I, a, I, he I, did I, it correctly. He's a plus five on the hit and a plus four on damage. Oh, sorry. I, I was looking. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you run up there carving a slice out of it. Yeah, I'm going to just back away slowly. Okay. As you back away, a pseudopod extends and tries to whack you. Does an eight hit you? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How far? Uh, you basically can only back up like 10 feet. Yeah, yeah, that'll that'll do it. Okay, Royce. 
Okay, so how how far am I at this point? Having everyone else had their turn, do I pretty much understand what's going on, or, or do I need More to ask? Or less, yeah. You hear okay. the fighting. You see uh, the you're on top of Franklin. Yeah, can I jump off Franklin and y use my movement speed to get to the corner? Because I, I have unimp unimpeded movement as a halfling. Yeah, sure. Do you want the uh, east corner with most of the party, or the west corner that Ira hid behind? Um, for now, I'll just. How much? How much movement speed would it take for me to get to the corner? Um, fifteen feet of movement. Okay, and then it would. Okay, so from there, I'll just take the ball bearing because the ball bearing that's in the gelatinous cube right now is not glowing, right? Correct. So I will take the gelat the ball bearing that I have in my hand, and I will throw it at the gelatinous cube to try to put a glowing ball bearing in there. All right. You chuck your glowing ball bearing into it, and there's like a little boop, and it's stuck. It's, flo okay. it's floating in it. Um, and then, can I tell how big it is from that, or is it just completely transparent? Uh, with the light and the damage it has taken, there is enough of a glare. You can tell it's basically uh, covering the entire width of the sewer, right in front of the bars. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, then I will just... Okay. Throw a hand axe at it. Okay. For now. Uh huh. Roll to hit. Um. Yeah. Twenty-three. Seven. All right. Yeah. Hand axe kind of goes deep, carves. You know, another slice into it. You can see the hand axe is sort of sitting there inside the gelatin. <laughs> um, cool. And then I will use the the rest of my movement speed to go, like, on the other side of... Because I'm on the near corner to it, right? Uh, both corners are equidistant from it. I mean, can I... Because it's a T-intersection, though, right? Or is yes. it... Oh, I'm sorry. Is it... A, so can I go, like, the opposite side of that T-intersection? Yeah, that's where Ira is. So okay, then yeah, can I go or, or closer to where Ira is? Uh huh. Um, and yeah, that'll just be my turn. Okay, Merzius. Um, is there a clear path to this fucking thing? Clear? Or, no. Uh, we'll have to move through people's spaces. You'll be moving through people's spaces. Two people's the, spaces, to be uh, precise. But... Are we still set up in the same situation where there's two, three foot, uh, yes, pathways and a four foot center, center? Yes. All right. I am going to uh, pull the wings out and uh, not a euphemism and just just coast down the center of the sluice to it <laughs> and just attack it with my right. glaive from uh, ten feet away. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, you just kind of whip around the corner, batting your wings, glaive out. Go ahead. Heave too. Like the band. Advantage? No. No, no, no. That's a huge hit. All right. A 13 hits. All right, nice. Take a big old and, chunk out of it. Hell yeah. Nice. You want Jello? Um, how far did I have to move to attack it? Mm, let's see. So that would have been uh, unimpeded. I would assume through the twenty. That would have been twenty-five feet of movement. Right on. Um, that getting with ten feet, not five, right? Yep, that puts you within... I believe it's reach. Yep. You are 10 okay. feet away from it. Uh, well, then I... Then I am going to pull back uh, five feet. All right, you pull back five feet, and... pulling level with Franklin. 15 feet away from it. And... Uh, uh... You're breaking up, Merzius. Oh. Say again. Oh, um, sorry. 
Sorry, I was uh, stuttering. I would like to. Let me check real quick. Make sure that's a. Your your audio is coming Goodbye. through patchy. Is it? Uh, give me two seconds to fix that. You're coming through broken. Talking to Steve's mic. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Good. Um, I am. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna hang out there. Okay. <laughs> On the cube's turn, it will move forward 15 feet. As it pushes its gelatinous self into Franklin and Merzius, I will need both of you to make a strength check. Strength. Strength. Franklin, you have advantage, right, Franklin? Yeah, Franklin should have advantage because he's angry turtle. Acrobatic or strength acrobatic? Strength check, you said? I'm sorry, no, I misspoke. Dexterity saving throws. I was with the wrong section. That's what I rolled. Okay. I was like, fuck, what What kind of cube? 13. All right, so you guys have a choice to make because you passed. You can either choose to back up five feet and not get engulfed by the cube, or stay there and uh, try to fight it from inside. Uh, I'm a back up five feet because I know how this shit goes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know Hercules. <laughs> the guy who's Franklin? backing up. <laughs> Franklin, what do you choose to do? I, I'm backing up. All right, you back up. Can I trip Franklin? No. Uh, no, you cannot. However, a pseudopod does whip out at you, uh, Merzius. Does a five hit you? Oh, wait, no, that's a net one. It it basically just whips right past you and uh, just licks the ceiling a little bit. You notice the oh, ceiling's kind of shiny from where it licked. Man, we can we, can we get a licking sound, sound effect under? No. I was hoping it would, it would like, suction back and just, like, thump his nose like a rubber band if you miss. Um, gross. Okay. Magic, I, I, it is I, your I turn. throw up a little bit. <laughs> Um, under how far am I away from our fiend? Uh, your fiend. Uh, what fiend is that? The, oh, I get, well, there was, I'm not entirely sure what's around this corner, but it seems like everybody else is in combat and there was. Well, with the 50 feet of movement, you can actually see the corner, front so of I'm just wondering how far. And it looks like it's a bunch of clear oh, jello can. Can that just the, tried the, to whack, um. Uh, that just tried to whack uh, Merzius, but instead licked the ceiling with it. Okay. Um, and how far away am I uh, now from that? 25? What I'm asking is, with my 25 movement speed, am I able to get into melee with this? With uh, Yes. With this? The yes, okay, yes. then I will do that. Okay, you run up to this thing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hit that motherfucker with the warhammer, and that's gonna be All right, uh, roll D twenty plus five, right? Plus five, right? Am I don't I crazy? Know, your sheet. Yeah, probably twenty one. Yeah, hits. yeah. Roll yeah. damage. Hang <laughs> on. Pull up. I pull up. Oh, come on. Load up. Damn thing. I think it's supposed to be. Oh, it's going to be plus three. Kill this shit. Kill this shit. All right. Well, it is now bloodied as little bits of gelatin start running down into the sluice. Okay. Do I have any more movement speed left? Uh, you spent twenty-five to get there. Uh, okay. All right then. I'll be on my turn then. All right, Elrond. Okay, so it's at the corner, right? Yep. 
So I'm five feet from it? Yep. Which is melee. Hmm. If you want it to be, yeah. It is in range. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stab it with a rapier. All right. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Bum, bum, banana. That hits. Roll damage. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Um. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and. Uh, okay. What are the spaces behind me? Is there how many people are there right right next to me? Uh, just Steve is behind you. Just Steve? Yeah, everyone else moved forward. Oh, yeah, because okay. we're not bitches. Okay, so if I go through him, it takes. How much? If to move through him for the impeded five feet or whatever it is, what yeah, does it change? It's it to? Consider difficult terrain, it would cost ten feet to move through his space. Ten feet to move through his space? Okay. So yeah, I'll go ahead and go twenty feet back. Okay. So you're busy using all of your movement speed. Yeah. Alright, yeah. As you back up, Pseudopod tries to whack you. You can try. <clears throat> Does a 19 hit you? <laughs> Shit, it does. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you guys, you see uh, magic. You stab with a the rapier, then try to run away. Yes, best way to do it. <laughs> As the pseudopod whacks him in the back for seven points of acid damage. Fucking dick. Can Even, I, fuck? I say, hey, watch out for those things. <laughs> Sting and tendrils. Um, hold on, let's see. Seven damage, that's it. That's it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll end my turn. Okay. Steve? Um. Yeah, so it's around the corner, so technically if I back up, I'd be good, correct? Yeah, you're not a melee with it. That's fine. All right, I'm going to back up just a, just a little bit, probably about 10 feet. Okay. Yeah. You, um. um and that would put Elrond still in front of me, correct? Um, he is. N- what do you mean by in front of you? That would like be- if I decided that I wanted to then pull out my crossbow and rip something at it, I wouldn't hit him. Correct. He's behind you. He's to your back. If you're facing yeah. the monster. All right. Perfect. Well, then I want to back up ten feet, and then I want to rip a crossbow at it. All right. Roll to hit. Back crossbow. Fucking fat crossbow. That hits. Roll damage. Yeah, it does. Love when you talk dirty to me. I love you, Jake. Anything else? No, sir. That'll do it. All right. Yeah, you guys see his bolt kind of slam into the side of it. Kind of go across the front face, leaving this trail through it like ballistic gel. Looks kind of neat. Ira, your turn. It got closer, didn't it? Yeah, it is currently uh, 10 feet away from you. Oh, cool. I could still shoot a longbow arrow at it. So you had to get around the corner fully to hide from it, so you have a bit of distance. Yeah, so I can I can peek and shoot. Well, you're not hidden. Like, there's nowhere to hide except that corner. It came far enough in front of the corner he can see you. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, just there's literally nowhere for you to be hit. <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, but you hit anyway, and there are friends in melee with it. And whack. All right, I would it like to, to hop... be on the verge of death. All right, I would like to hop across the canal to the other side. Yep, you hop across the southern side. Yep, and then uh, that'll be it. I have nowhere to hide. Yep. Franklin, your turn. I'm going to whack it with my hat. All right, whack away. That hits. Roll damage. Is he inside of it? No, he backed up so that he didn't end up inside of it. Oh, okay. 
because he was smart. He is smart angry turtle. <laughs> smart angry turtle that goes full wood chipper on this thing as he shreds it. The gelatin is no more. Yeah, I love that shit. XP is, I love XP. Yeah. XP is awesome. Yeah, it, hey. so these like little like chunks of like clear gelatin just start floating down the shit river away from here. Okay, cool. Does it slowly start cleaning the love river? It. What's is beyond the, it? Is this the end of the session? All right, beyond it you can see the vertical iron bars that uh, Mr. Yasso had described to you as the entrance to the Van Thamper dungeons. And we are going to call it here for the evening. Hey, real quick question. Bob, you're a paladin, right? Bob, there. Stay firm. I am, I am, I I am 100% positive. Like Hang on. I am 100% positive that sleep is not a paladin spell. Uh, it is I part of the subclass. My gets it spell slots. What? Part of Oath of Redemption Paladin. Suck my dick, that spell is part of uh, his spells. <laughs> wow. Totally.